name is Mrs. Lina Febiri Camo from the City Complex National High School District of San Pedro, Division of Laguna. So for today, I will show you how to measure blood pressure using the BP apparatus or what we call spigmomanometer BP apparatus aneroid. Okay, so the first one is the temperature, next is the pulse rate, next is the respiratory, next is the blood pressure. And then the fifth vital side is called the pain o kung ano mismo sakit ng tao. So when we say blood pressure, it is the force of blood pushing against the walls of our blood vessels. Okay, so in measuring blood pressure, there are two parts. Okay, the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so when the heart is contracting, the pressure is highest. It is called the systolic pressure. Now, when the heart is, when the heart is at most relaxed state, the pressure is lowest. It is called the diastolic pressure. And then that is the last sound that you will hear on your stethoscope. Okay. 120 over 80 is the normal blood pressure of a person. 120 is the systolic pressure, the first sound that you will hear, or the first pulse. And then 80 is the diastolic pressure. Next. Now, how will you read using the aneroid gauge? Okay. So, with, as you can see, 20, 40, 60. Okay. 80, 100, 120. So, at each part, so the middle line is the by tens, okay? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, in each part, so there is, there are five lines, okay? So 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, okay? So that is... Uh, the proper way of reading in the aneroid gauge. Okay, so for now, I have with my mom as my patient or my client. I will give you seven tips on how to have an accurate blood pressure reading. Okay, so number one is don't have a conversation. Talking adds 10 to 15 millimeters in mercury. Number two, support back. Okay, unsupported back adds 5 to 10 millimeters in mercury. Number three, Put calf on bare arm. Calf over clothing adds 10 to 14, 40 millimeters in mercury. Number four, support arm or heart level. Be sure that her arm is at the level of her heart. Okay? Next, empty bladder. Full bladder adds 10 to 15 millimeters in mercury. And then number six is keep legs and cross. Okay, so be sure that his, uh, her legs is uncrossed. Okay, crossing legs adds 5 to 10 millimeters in mercury. And then the number 7, support feet. Be sure that her feet is fit flat on the floor. Okay, okay now, so I will measure my mom's blood pressure. Okay, step 1, wash your hands and prepare the equipment you will use. Okay. Can you use water? Okay. And then dry your hands. Or you can use alcohol to sanitize your hands. Okay. Next. Number two, introduce yourself and let the patient or the client know the procedure to be done. Okay. So... I will get your blood pressure using the BP apparatus aneroid. Number three, sanitize the earpieces of the stethoscope with an antiseptic pad or you can use alcohol. Okay? Okay, you need to sanitize the earpiece. And then, you can run. Next, number four, ask your client to rest quietly. Okay? So, yeah. So, Expose the arm of your client by rolling the slips up. Okay, so have your client's arm from the elbow down to the rest fully extended on the bed or the arm of the chair. Okay, next, unroll the cuff. Okay, loosen the screw. Okay, loosen the screw and squeeze the cuff 
by your hands to remove the air completely. Okay? Next, wrap around your client's arm above the elbows. Okay? Okay? Have your client's arm from the elbow down to the rest extended to the bed or the arm of the chair. And screw the cuff around your client's arm above the elbow. Not too tight or not too small. So how will you know if it is not too tight or too small? So you will place your two fingers. Okay? So it is perfectly fit. Okay? Find your client's brachial pulse on at the inside of the elbow okay so this is the part of the brachial pulse okay hold the diaphragm hold the diaphragm there and inflate the cup until the pulse disappear okay take note of the reading of and immediately deflate the cup this is the client's approximate systolic reading and is called the palpated systolic pressure. Okay? So, you will put the aneroid gauge for you to easily read the blood pressure measurement. Okay? Next. So, you will inflate the cup by using the bump. Okay? So, uh, in inflating the cuff until 180 to 200. Okay. Okay, until 180 to 200. Okay. Okay. So let's release the release ball. Dandan lang ha. Slowly. Okay. The first bit is 180, last bit is 80, okay? So, it means my mother's blood pressure is normal, okay? So, you need to take note that the, the measurement. So, the systolic pressure or the first bit is 118 and then the diastolic pressure is 80 okay so that is the normal okay so next turn the screw to close it okay so remove the stethoscope so turn the screw to open it and then let the air escape slowly until the sound of the pulse comes back okay so release the natin deflate and then remove the aneroid gauge and then remove the Okay, so that's it. Okay, so in measuring the client's blood pressure, so if you have, uh, if you want another measurement, so if it is too high or too low, you can repeat the procedure in another arm, 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, if you're done measuring your client's blood pressure, okay, you need to place all the equipment in the box, okay? Place it in a box. Be sure that is, it is placed properly, okay? That's all. So as you can see, this is the blood pressure category chart, okay? So the normal blood pressure is less than 120 and less than 80 is the diastolic. Elevated stage is 120 to 129, systolic, and less than 80 will be the diastolic. High blood pressure, hypertension stage 1, 
130 to 139 or 80 to 89 naman ang ating diastolic. High blood pressure, stage 2, 140 or higher or 90 or higher naman ang kanyang diastolic. Hypertensive crisis, higher than 180 systolic and then higher than 120 that will be the diastolic. So that's all and thank you very much.